Today we take a look at how BandLab stacks up against a fully fledged DAW like FL Studio. Not much of a spoiler, but it doesn't hold a candle to it. Which is obviously going to be the case when you compare a free DAW to a paid one. The real question in my mind is, where exactly does BandLab actually fit in the current music creation environment? If you are on a Mac, obviously it's GarageBand that's free and the sounds and functionality are going to be much better. If you are on Windows, then you could just use Audacity. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding guys, calm down. You could just use MPC Beats. Again, it's free, the sounds are better, and you have full VST support. FL Studio is going to outclass all the before mentioned alternatives of BandLab. So where does BandLab fit in? Well, FL Studio may be available for both PC and Mac, along with mobile variants, but BandLab can function on any device with a Chrome web browser. So you could use it to make some really good song drafts and capture ideas. It has great social features, you can collab with other users and share ideas or create something amazing without ever leaving the DAW. And that in itself is a really underrated feature when we consider sharing musical ideas. I've honestly heard some amazing songs made on BandLab. A skilled user could make something great on any audio workstation software realistically. However, whatever you made in BandLab, you probably could have done better in another DAW. BandLab has no plugin support, so no VSTs, no AAX, which means the instruments provided by BandLab and the sounds provided by BandLab are all you have at your disposal which beginners won't notice until later on that this severely limits you. You can't miss what you don't even know you don't have. Um, however, taking away that freedom is also sort of a good thing for beginners as it keeps you focused on making music with what you have rather than spending days looking for sounds and looking for instruments. FL Studio does have a free trial version, which is always free to use. However, you cannot open saved projects in the free trial. There are four versions of FL Studio. There are the Fruity Edition, Producer Edition, Signature Edition, and lastly, the pack that includes everything is the All Plugins Edition. So comparing the hefty price tag on the All Plugins Edition versus the free BandLab does seem a little crazy. However, the $200 Producer Edition would be the entry point and FL Studio gives you free updates for life. Another thing I didn't take into account is that BandLab is cloud-based, so it's likely very light on your CPU versus FL Studio with a bunch of plugins loaded. The benefits of BandLab really end there though. There are better free options since that is really the main thing people will focus on, especially beginners. BandLab is the music equivalent of social media, which is great, but that's about all that it's got going for it. If you don't have cash right now, GarageBand and MPC Beats have you covered. If you have the cash, FL Studio will blow your mind. Logic will blow your mind. Ableton will blow your mind. Um, though I know for a time Cakewalk was actually free, like the full DAW was free of charge as long as you had a BandLab account. I think it was a legacy edition or something like that. Whether that is still the case though, I am not 100% certain, so maybe do some digging on that one. Guys, thanks for watching and have an amazing day.